Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I am Sai De Silva. I am a luxury lifestyle influencer, creator. Every time I do this, I like do a different intro and I can never get it right. So basically, welcome. All right, guys, I've been gone for maybe about three weeks and I've gotten so many DMs about when am I coming back? I am back. It is a good idea to follow me on Instagram because I post every single day on stories. It's easy for me to do, it's 15 seconds. So if you're not following, please make sure that you follow me on Instagram as well as on the talk, on the Tic Tac. It's Scout the City there too. I'm gonna do more of a chatty wine down Wednesday vlog. So wait, hold on, I have wine. Everybody's home by the way. The dog is here, the kids are here. My husband is like sitting right here looking in my face. It's not awkward at all. I wish you could see him right now because he's doing things that are so inappropriate. <laughs> So I got a glass of wine. Grab yourself a wine or a mocktail if you don't drink. I wrote down everything that I did in the last three weeks so you don't miss anything. And um, let's jump right into this. So after Miami, the kids came down. I had to leave the kids early. They ended up staying for an extra two days. I came back because we had to go to Ralph Lauren. They finally had a show after a two or three year hiatus because of the pandemic. They never came back. And then they did not show for actual fashion week. Instead, they did their own thing and it was a very small, intimate event. I had a fitting for it and it was kind of star studded. I mean, I was sitting next to Eva Chen and was it Anton, An Anton, Antonio from Queer Eye? You know what I'm talking about. What are you looking at? It's so like we are doing a video and your husband is just basically staring in your face. Back to us eight. There's just like a good amount of people that was there. Who else? Oh my God. Tyson. Tyson walked and he still looked so hot. I have some footage of him. He looked directly in my camera. He was looking at me. I'm just saying, I don't know if he's looking at me or he was looking I at you. I can hear you. I know you can hear me. I can hear you. <laughs> he looked so hot. I have ears. Okay, Gigi Hadid was there. Bella was there. Went to Polo Bar after with Jessica Wang. Picked her up. We had some dinner. The next day I was so sick. Like my stomach was killing me. I felt like I had some sort of stomach bug. So I ended up staying in the house for the entire day. I literally put my phone on do not disturb because the kids weren't home. It was the first time that I was actually home and alone. So that felt kind of weird to be home alone and no one else was here except for the dog. The dog was driving me nuts. I ended up just sleeping the entire day because the following day after that, which I think was a Friday, I had a Bloomingdale's on-screen live shopping event and I had to go to Bloomingdale's. Sorry, I just cannot get my hair together. What was I saying? You were saying you had to go to Bloomingdale's for an on- Okay, uh, you're talking about how handsome your husband was. I was not was. talking about how handsome you were. You're talking about how amazing I am. It's not about you right now. If you're not gonna show your face, it's not about you. I went to Bloomingdale's. I didn't have any clothes, so I actually shopped the rack and just grabbed some stuff. First of all, I had sensors on it still. So I had the sensors like hanging out of the pants, but you could only see from here up. So it didn't really matter if the sensors were on the clothes or not. And I just borrowed an outfit. I did this on this live shopping with a friend of mine, Marissa, who is the fashion accessories director at Bloomingdale's. She's lovely, by the way. We did that for about an hour and then I went home after that. I think I watched TV. Oh, I watched Inventing Anna. Have you guys seen that yet? I'm really into it. I'm only on the third episode, so I still have to finish the season, but Bridgerton came out and now I'm all about Bridgerton, but I'm digressing. And then, oh, I got locked out. I'm so used to my husband being home that I actually forgot my keys in the house and there was no one here but me and I got locked out. So I had to call a locksmith and get myself back in the house, which was super freaking annoying. Kids came back after that and then I did a play date with London. Intermix had an event and I took London and her bestie, because my friend works for Intermix, her and her bestie, they went to like some wedding edit that Intermix was having. Yeah, we just hung out. And then we took the girls to Waverly Inn for brunch and they had a really good time. And it was cute because there was all these like little stores on Bleecker Street in New York. And I got this bracelet, let me show you. I got this really cute bracelet. There's this store that only sells tons and tons of different bracelets. This one says badass on it because I thought that was appropriate for me. London got one that says bestie. Little Words Project, I think that's the name of the store. But if you are in town or in New York, check out Bleecker Street. They have all of these adorable shops that I feel are very interactive. They have DJs and it's, I don't know, very inviting. It's kind of like a fun shopping experience. 
So all in all, the girls' day was really sweet. We went to a friend's house after, and London continued to play, and she just had a really good day. The day after, I believe, I was back on the Today Show. So the Grammys happened and I watched the, the Grammys red carpet. The next morning I went to the Today Show with Hoda and Jenna and I covered all of the red carpet. Everyone's favorite looks were my favorite looks, especially like the Valentino pink. Pink was, was the color of the night. I agree, I can't agree more. I think we should have changed the red carpet to Valentino pink. From St. Vincent to Chrissy Teigen to Sweetie. I mean, the pink was all the rage. It gives us love, it gives us energy. And I really feel like these ladies really amped it up, but I want to start off with my very favorite was Sweetie. Oh I mean, gosh. she's wearing Valentino and she looks phenomenal, she down does. to the gloves. It was fun. There was some moments where the B-roll was zooming through, so there was footage that was zooming through that I wasn't even talking about. So I was trying to like talk about one dress, however they were showing the other dress, but I think that I got that together. I thought it was a good show. You thought it was a good segment too, right? I think you totally kicked beep because Beep. with the photos not being seamless, you just transitioned. You were the queen. I was so proud of you. I was the queen. Did you guys hear that? The next day was the art production fun spring gala. A friend of mine started this nonprofit and she's been working with them for about 18, 19 years. And um, she had some amazing brands come in and get tables. So I went with Todd's and Todd's dressed me for that. Billy Jean came in and did my makeup. Navasha did my hair. Of course, I, I, put like, I put it back in a pony. My hair is growing back in the middle, by the way. So don't be alarmed. I'll, sh I'll, I'll share that another day. Ethan Hawke loved your look. Oh my God, Ethan Hawke is basically my neighbor. So glad you brought that up. <laughs> so I come out of the house and the car is waiting. I'm like looking a little flustered because the, the, the dress was open on the sides. So I had a lot of like booby cleavage going on on the side, but your girl was so taped up. Like I had so much tape. If the wind blew it over, you would see all of this tape, which kind of is mortifying. But from the side, I look like I had big, like nice perky boobies. So I'm trying to like get this jacket on and I'm Sorry, no, sorry, hold on, let's reset. Okay, sorry, we had a malfunction. My tripod <laughs> fell off of the window and now we're back. But the story got juicy, right? So the booby cleavage and I'm coming out, right? And I'm like, have my jacket half on, half, you know, trying to get the boob in. And Ethan Hawke, I hope he doesn't see this video because if he does, I'm mortified. <laughs> he's on, he's locking his song, he's on his phone. He literally takes his phone away from him and he goes, Wow, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. And he said it like two or three times. And he's like, wow, wow, you look really beautiful. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, oh my God, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I was so flattered that when I got in the car, as soon as I got in there, I called my husband and I'm like, Ethan Hawke said I look beautiful, you know, by the way. It was just a really nice, but stunned at the same time. It was almost like he knew me and I was always looking like trash. And then now he's seen me, he's like, wow, you clean up well. I hope he doesn't see this. <laughs> so moving on, the gala was so much fun. I had a few martinis, I'm not gonna lie. I had dirty martinis that night. I had about two dirty martinis, two glasses of white wine and a glass of champagne. And then I think about it and I didn't realize it, I was tipsy. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. But Jessica Wang was there, we sat next to each other and she was drinking just as much as I was, but I felt like I was sober. But looking back on it, I don't think I was. I don't, I don't think that I was sober, but I know how to, you know, get it together, right? Could not tell if I am tipsy unless you hear my voice. My voice tends to get super duper high pitch. We had a flight dance. to catch. My dancing is just suspect in general, mm -hmm. but I have a good time. The next morning was a flight that I had to get up at 4.30 in the morning for, and I got home and went to bed at 12.30. So the fact that I was drinking, I did not pack a thing. The packing was so suspect. There was nothing in the suitcase. I didn't pack anything. Luckily, I was there with Veronica Beard and they sent over all the outfits that I would need. And I literally was only there for 18 hours. Veronica Beard to the rescue. Also, they sent shoes, which is great because your girl has no shoes. This is gonna be cute. Okay, shorts, matching blazer, a different color. High waist, I really love these. But look how cute this is. 
love, look at this. These are so cute. Platforms, these, or these lilac suede heels, and they're square in the front. So we went to the Veronica Beard thing, and then afterwards, we, Jessica, and a friend named Emily, we all went to Cody uh, to have some Korean barbecue, and I don't even eat meat. So I had like the bing bing bop, bing bing bop, bing 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 bop. Are you singing mm bop? And I think I had a fish dish. Flew right back from Miami because I couldn't stay an extra day. I didn't want to stay an extra day, honestly. When I'm like in work mode, I kind of just work and I want to get home. The next day I had a, a meet and greet. Oh my God, you guys are gonna kill me because I never said that I was having a meet and greet on YouTube. However, the meet and greet was so small and it was something that they wanted to just be very intimate and it was only a few people. I think we filled up 40, 40 slots or 40 chairs or something and I think like half the people came, so it was like 25. Anyway, it was a meet and greet, and then we went into styling all these different ways to wear Vince Camuto shoes, and I spoke for 30 minutes. Thank you to the people who went. I really appreciate it, because I was kind of like up there talking by myself, and it was like a good chill vibe. However, there was no clock, so I really didn't have any idea of what time it was or when I should kind of switch into what outfit because I talked about four different outfits and how to style them. I also talked about some social media tips and some things that work for me. I talked about reels and um, again when you're talking for 30 minutes and you're by yourself it can feel like an eternity. Like right now? No, this is different because I'm talking to my camera even though you're, I'm actually talking to you. This actually feels like an eternity. He's so rude. But the fact that I'm even doing this video and he's right there, it's like, why are you, you stalking me? You came into my space. You're so you obsessed came into my with space. me. Why are you so obsessed with me? I am obsessed with you. <laughs> I was, I was sitting here, you came, sat down. Why are you so obsessed with me? You came into my Everybody space. Everybody knows. <laughs> Anyways, we did that, we done that, and guess whose birthday it is? It is Race Call Rio's birthday. And I got the balloons to prove it. So, LaRonda from um, Butler Balloons, I called her super last minute. I don't know why I am so last minute with the birthday party planning as if his birthday just magically appears. It's on the same day every year. Same, it's the same day every year? It's the same day every that's, year. That's mind boggling. We just decided to do something really small. He only invited a few people. He didn't even invite like all his friends from school. It was like two girls, I think, and five boys or something. It was seven of them total. We just did something in the house. I had balloons put up. The cake, get this. I called to go and check on it and they told me that I ordered the cake for the wrong day. So I was supposed to have the cake on Sunday. I ordered the cake to pick it up on Monday. Shout out to Mia's Bakery because they did me a huge favor. He goes, you know what? Let me see what we can whip up. And they got me a cake within the hour and they even put a spray paint fondant, fondant, whatever you call it. They spray paint Happy Birthday Rio and some race cars on it and it did the trick. I think it's like a $60 cake. And I think in the past, I used to spend a lot of money on their cakes. Lately, I've just kind of been like, you wanna plan your own party? You wanna go to Party City and buy your own stuff? The balloons, I think we, we spent some money on the balloons. Well, I don't know, LaRonda still didn't invoice me. Girl, you gotta invoice me if you're watching this. And free. then we did bagels, and then we did pizza. In a free bouncy house. Oh yeah, my friend came over and she let us borrow her bouncy house, so that was nice. That was just like a very nice, chill day. The parents had coffee or rosé or beer or water. I tried to feed everybody rosé. And it lasted from 11 to two, and Rio was so happy. That wasn't his actual birthday. His birthday is actually on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. By the time you guys see this, it will be Wednesday. Tomorrow we're gonna take him for sushi at his favorite sushi spot. And then we're gonna come back home and sing happy birthday. And he's gonna probably get a birthday little situation in his, um, I've been trying not to say situation and I just said it. I think they're gonna probably do like a little mini birthday shout out at his school. Like, can you believe he's five? Like I literally cannot wrap my head around the fact that he's five years old. Time is flying by so quickly. And then we went through all of his footage to try and do a Instagram video for him. We're checking the baby's heartbeat. Can't wait to meet you. Are you a little sleepy head? What up? I'm one month. Can you say hi, handsome? My kids by the sea. 
Are you gonna have curly hair? It made me have baby fever for five minutes. I'm not available. I didn't ask you if you're available. You looked at you said you had baby fever and you looked at me. Because you're sitting there. There's no like no, no, I'm no, talking no. to myself and then you or baby us fe talking baby to Baby fever and you turned to me. Not available. Okay, so yeah, that is, that's pretty much all that you guys missed in the last three weeks. It seems like it was pretty eventful. You're buying a house. <gasps> We're closing on the house. We're closing on the house on Wednesday. It is official. We have spoken to our attorney today. We went through all the paperwork. So now that's left is that we just have to pay people now. <laughs> so we're gonna go and pay everyone and put our signatures all over everything. And starting Wednesday, we will have a new house. Also, we hired an architect. He's already like starting to draw up all the paperwork and all the, I mean, not the paperwork, what do you call it? Renderings. The renderings, thank you. I currently am obsessed with Gwyneth Paltrow's home. I love it. Obviously, I am not gonna be changing the floors. I'll probably stain the floors is what I would like to do. But we are on a tuna fish budget with my caviar taste, darling. But we're gonna see what we can get. I definitely would love to get a dream kitchen i am going to document this whole thing feels very adult like you know i i wish my dad was around because i would tell him how much i'm going to home depot soon and i couldn't stand home depot there's no way kid. you're walking in home depot you're sending me to home depot i can go into home depot and look who's going to home depot me us okay. we're going to home depot <laughs> Okay, everybody you, heard this. Excuse me, sir. Everybody heard this. Where do you keep the tiles? Everybody heard this. He's a hater. <laughs> He's a going, hater and a half. I'm going to Home Depot. Anyways, <laughs> we'll have some rendering soon. Maybe I can like share them if they're shareable but and, and figure out what the next steps are. I don't want to be in there until we don't even have hot water, right? We have to buy a hot water heater. We're probably going to be sleeping on an air mattress in one of the rooms. But again, we're only gonna be there for summers and weekends, and we're kind of hoping to enjoy at least some of the summer, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. We will see, because I definitely wanna rip the kitchen out ASAP, ASAP Rocky. Do you have anything to add to this vlog? I love you. I love you. Congratulations on your home. Oh, thank you. What's for dinner? <laughs> I have to cook dinner. By the way, look at these jeans. I've been wearing these jeans for like the last three days. These are by Redone. And I am feeling them. Love them. And then the top is from Zara for like seven bucks. And that is it. I have got to go, darling. London, come over. Yes, darling. Everybody wants to see London, my favorite. Come, darling. Yes, and I'm everybody else's favorite. Rio's still downstairs doing I don't know Make what. Make sure to subscribe if you think I'm the vibe my vlog okay yeah but you named it after me so it's my vlog that is true. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> guys her middle name is scout and that's where we got it from but if you are new here please make sure that you um if you're new here wait what what do i say <laughs> if you're new said. here then just subscribe <laughs> because, because we're i'm the vibe. vibe i'm the vibe leave a comment down below and we'll I'm see you guys vibe. next week